Hey everybody, Meeslikes Games here, welcoming you back to another another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls, Prepare to Die Edition. As you may or may, or may not be able to tell by my soul counter and the number of humanities I have, I went grinding. I got 11 large titanite chunks and 10 green titanite shards. So that's what those are for, and that's all I did. But in this episode, we're gonna reverse hollowing, and we're gonna go try and kill Quilong. Yeah. I also died to slugs, as embarrassing as that is. So the two humanities that were in Quilong's place are no longer there. Spare that in mind. Um. Stand, stand, stand. Ah, we gotta stab those guys. And then, I know I said I'd be covering this after Quilog, but I thought of something that would be useful f to us in the future, so. I'm just gonna go here first really fast. Hopefully we don't die. We probably will, knowing me, but ho uh, I said hopefully. So. You know how it is. You know how it is. Just gonna run across that. Now we're good. Let's go up this way. We. And we may as well get this now when we have very little to lose, right? Come on, quit being hard to. Sh Um, but you gotta take this crap pretty carefully. Oh, shooting at me. Wonder if I could grieve Lord Greatsword dance him. Let's give it a try. I guess not. Ah, what are you up to? Get out of here. Okay, um... We'll get that when we come out of here, I guess, because there's no way we're getting it now. Not with what I want to do. <laughs> Anyways. So just gotta go up here. We... Why don't I just rush this guy and poke him to death? Like so. Ah. Getting toxic. It's actually very hard to completely avoid toxic here. Um, you can try, but... You won't really succeed. Like, honestly, this is the hardest place to, um... Avoid toxic in the game right here where we are right now but uh... it's possible it's not easy one thing you have to do is backstab them though so I can get invulnerability to these guys and just poke around the corner and just do that there you go this guy's the hardest I hate this guy it's just about stun locking with arrows. And then dodging his thing. And that gets all of those. Now. You gotta shoot these guys. Whoa. Now we have one preemptively aggroed on us. Hooray, hooray. Anyways. I was hoping I'd do a bit more damage to them than it did. Let's just piss off all the dogs. Why not? Yeah, let's do it. Honestly, I'm probably gonna die to the fire dogs because they're dumb. I hate them. But yep. Maybe not. Not if that kills them that fast.
Hate the fire dogs with the burning passion. They are OP. And they torch you. Whoo! Thrusted. Anyways, right here you got a Firekeeper's soul. And we're gonna do the terrible idea of using a homeward bone. Wee homeward bone. Boneward home. Boneward home. I love boneward homes. Truly. Anyways, now to actually go kill Quelog now that we got that out of the way. I just did that to save some time. It doesn't really seem like it's a time saver, but believe us, it is. Okay. Okay. Just gonna let our poison wear off here. Yes, this is a path. Well done. Ah, don't hop backwards into the poison. Now my goal, if possible, is to make it all the way there without getting poisoned. The odds of that are actually pretty low, so we'll see. Go! Halfway there, living on a prayer. Uh, oh god, hello. How are you doing today? Oh. This wasn't a good idea. Anyways, I guess we're just gonna run now. Friggin' in the skirt at this point, right? We got this. We can power her thin arrow her body. Yeah. I feel like this run will be the run we beat her, you know? Oh, hello, something sign. How are you doing? Like, yo, any help is help. So, friggin' do it. I don't give a crap. Did it just exceed? No, I don't think so. Most likely not a success. That is not a success. Anyways, I don't really care. Um, I kind of care, but it's not really that much of a difference. Mildred will be my help. I love you, Mildred. Even though you're kind of gross. We're going to wear our most offensive gear, which would be our wanders. Our most offensive gear that we can stay light in, I should say. see if we can wear the chest piece. Yes, we can. Okay. Then do we have any other physical shields? We have an eagle shield. This is a flawless plan. Don't be hating. Let's go. Oh, wait. Yes. This probably may be medium, didn't it? That'd be a yes. Hello. Ow. Ouch. Okay. So contrary to popular belief, it is possible to know when she's going to do the fire attack. Um, and also that attack. So just, like, just avoid those and then just roll dodge that and you're pretty much good, you know. And what we're going to actually do is we're going to actually heal up here. That was almost a bad idea, um, but not quite. So I'm just going to thrust her a few times. This music's awfully loud. Uh, 
That was a good dodge on my part, if I do say so myself. Ah, oh, God. Excuse me while I heal up. Mildred died. But she's pretty much dead, so. Unless we back into her lava and then she explosions, we should be okay. Ow. That's another move that I kind of want to avoid being hit by. We should be okay. We're looking like we're going to be okay here. I got greedy. I got greedy. I got greedy. Oh my god. Oh my god. There was lava behind me. I should have just healed and took the hit. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. This time we're going to try her without Mildred, because I feel like we could have had her. Mildred was not even helping. Uh, I can't believe how many times I'm dying to Mildred. This makes, uh, this makes me so sad. All the sads are being had. Screw your path. I don't even care. Shoot me with fire. Like I give a crap. Come on. Grow up. I think you're dealing with. time we got it though guys come on trust listen to me he knows what he's talking about you can do it have faith for him come on maybe if Mies uses a great lord great sword and power within this could be a terrible strategy this could be a terrible terrible strategy and we're still light, so. We'll see. This may end horribly. Uh, kind of scared about doing this, honestly, guys. So this is not going to go well. Oh, my God. Why am I doing this? Let's do it. Okay, Kellogg's. I'm here to kick butt and take name, and I'm out of name. Okay, well, we managed to dodge that first attack, and the very first thing she follows it up with this explosion, just because she wants to waste my power within. So I'm going to go over here. That's actual damage right there. Sorry, I know your tells, Kellogg. going to have a hard time hitting me with them. May as well heal up here, you know. Yeah! Ow! I can't believe that worked. That went so much better. Okay. I mean, um... Okay. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Just gotta find our wing spear. <sighs> now you're probably thinking, come on, stay with the Grave Lord Sword. Do you see how much better I went for you? And I'm like, no, I don't like the Grave Lord Sword. I don't think it. I, it's great, and it just won that boss fight for me, but come on, friggin'. Who gives a crap? I don't like to use it. Too good. It's too good. So uh, just heal up and then Kawabunga you don't Kawabunga yet me easy yet of a maybe to pull the leather I'm really smart. Gasp what's going on? And then I remember that I don't even care. 
That's really just me ringing the bell scene, so it's like, you know what's happening. Right. Kawabunga! Ow. I am a new servant, but you have no eggs. You're right. I pray that mind your manners. I will mind my manners. Thank you. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my anus. Thank you. Just gonna go ahead and rest this bonfire, and we're good with that. So now we're gonna reinforce our Estus flask with that firekeeper soul, and enter her covenant. And that grants us great chaos fireball. Yay. It'd be great if I could now rest of this. There we go. There we go. So now I have a pyromancy that actually does damage. Let's go. One second, though. I feel like I gotta turn this down. Cause that was really loud before. Whatever. That wall looks suspicious, but it's not suspicious at all. Anyways. Now we go right through here. We. We. Truly. See, the armor we're wearing now is pretty defensive. It's a rather good light set. The light set I'm going to get soon will be better, but not for a while, so... Yep. Now, you may know this place. You may not. But I actually like this area a lot. The only thing is, this boss makes me very sad. I'll tell you the story of Ceaseless Discharge while we fight him. Okay. Okay. So as you saw from the uh, beginning cutscene, right before we created our character, or right after we created our character, actually, the Daughters of Chaos weaved great firestorms, destroying the dragons. But what it doesn't mention is that there is one Son of Chaos whose body was charred and burned as a child. His mother, feeling very sad for him, created the uh, created a ring for him, but being a clumsy fool that he was, he went and dropped it into the water into the lava, creating a horrible demon and also causing a heck of a lot of a mess. I grant you, when he dropped the ring in the lava, his body was maimed and burned creating this the ceaseless discharge it says that he feels constant pain and the only joy he feels in his entire life ever is being able to watch over his sister's body one of the sisters of chaos very few are still alive this is one of them and as you can see she is dead so we're going to be pretty much the biggest like douchebags in the entire world and loot his sister's corpse. Now we're gonna run. Now we're gonna run. As you can see, he's very mad at us for looting his sister's corpse, so we gotta roll. We gotta roll. And now we got to run away. Oh my god. Now, there's a secret way to beat this boss that I'm gonna show you. You can fight him straight up, and that makes you a sir. At least give the poor guy a challenge, right, before he dies. Like, let him kill you for maiming his sister's body. But one thing you should note is he's a non-aggro boss at first, and the only thing that will aggro him permanently is picking up his sister's clothing. Shooting him with an arrow, although it may aggro him temporarily, will not permanently aggro him, so you're able to go back, pick up your souls, and yeah. As you can see, Ceaseless Discharge chases us all the way back to the fog gate and tries to slam us. 
Unfortunately for the ceaseless discharge, he's no longer in his comforting lava, and is instead over a cliff. By staggering his arm with a number of hits, he falls backwards into the abyss and dies. Not only does he not return to the lava which created him, but he died. Like, and the last thing he saw was his sister's body being looted and just not, like, not hi him not being able to do anything about it. Like, what could be more sad than that? Not very much. Killing him nets us 20,000 souls, homeward bone, and the title of biggest douchebag in the world. So let's just boneward home and continue on, shall we? Yeah. Anyways, on a brighter note, I've decided that I'm not going to use the Wing Spear. However, plus fiving it was not in vain. In fact, it was quite the opposite of in vain. <laughs> I'm actually rather happy that I plus fived this weapon. You'll see why in the future. Probably in the next episode, which I'm going to record today. So, in about an hour, maybe. How long has this been going on, this episode that I've been recording? I don't freaking know. Let's just continue recording. I'm having fun. Um, anyways, we, anyways, 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 oh my god, guys, oh my god, we did it, we beat Quilog, we used a giant sword, I'm really glad we went and picked up the Grave Lord Sword and Covenant when we did, that makes me extremely happy, oh my god, cannot believe that went as well for us as it did, you know, just like, holy frack, anyways, yeah, so, I think it was a good decision for us to, um, plus ten, uh, plus five our spear, like we said. Uh, and I also decided that, uh, for again, Gravelord Sword is the best thing ever for anything, ever, in the beginning of the game. Up until you can plus ten a weapon. At that point, it becomes worse, but we can't do that yet. Yet. We'll see. Remember how I said I grinded up some shards? Ah, now you remember. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not our wing spear we're plus tenning. You'll see soon though. Wing spear is not in vain though. Wing spear will still get a use. So let's just continue on, and yeah. Come on, rolly, 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 rolly. So, here's our bonfire. We're just going to rest at this to get rid of our poison status, because that's not going to do us any favors in the future. Mm, perhaps I should put on the Ring of Sacrifice for the uh, Blight Town Evader. The most difficult boss in the game, as it were. Not sure. I might put it on for one part. You'll see what that one part is in a few short seconds, but... Not right now. Anyways, we got a Firekeeper's Soul plus three, so that's pretty good. Yay, Firekeeper's Soul plus three, as it were. We got our free face. Come on. Come on, guys. Anyways, so we're off the Blight Town Evader. That's good. Let's just continue on through the Justice. Continue on through the Justice, as it were. Stab this guy in the face. He deserves to be stabbed in the face face. Uh, where's the longbow? There it is. Whatever, we're ignoring him. I don't give a crap. Nope, no, no. Not gonna ignore this guy. Come on, how did you miss? I just powered within, didn't I? Yes, I did. Meet Great Chaos Fireball! Insect! That was worth it. Truly. Power within great, great Chaos Fireball. Not OP at all. Anyways. So here's why we have a Ring of Sacrifice. 
Like, literally, this part right here makes me think the Ring of Sacrifice is worth picking up. Just gotta walk slowly across this. Oh my god, hate this. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. We're good. Stab this guy to death. You get a pretty nice set of armor. Yay. And the Tin Punishment Catalyst. As well as the Sorcery Remedy. So let's actually go ahead and put on some different armor now. We're going to put on... Mask of the Sealer. Gold Hem Black. Crimson Gloves. And Gold Hem Skirt. Yeah. Swaggin'. Dang. Anyways. So the armor we have on now is actually pretty good. Uh, as you can see, it has a certain amount of poison and curse resistance. Now that wasn't the reason, going there wasn't the reason why we want the Ring of Sacrifice. Coming back is, because that sucks! You just can't walk on that! Everyone's the word of God! Ah, it's a terrible thing! It just like slides you off, to, no matter what you do. But we had the Ring of Sacrifice, because I knew that would happen. Like quite literally knew that would happen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just gotta put it on this one for nothing. We're gonna swap these. This is gonna be the crimson. This is gonna be the yeah, like that swagging. Dang. Yeah, this set of armor is actually pretty good. Yeah, it has decent defense as well as decent um, resistance to everything. So. I mean, gold and black just straight up is better in most cases, but, yeah, let's see. Well, except for the waist piece, the chest piece. There we go. That's what we'll do. It's flawless. Maybe for arms we'll do, uh... Shadow Gauntlets, why not? This is gonna go back up the Blight Town Invader. I oh, hate this thing so much. It feels like no matter what you do, it's gonna end up killing you eventually and lose all your souls to an elevator. Most difficult boss in the game, I swear to God. Anyways, let's just ignore that and go up here. But yeah, I think that covers pretty much everything we need to do in Blight Town. As well as killing a ceaseless discharge for later. And yeah, so that's pretty good. We uh we accomplished a lot. This guy needs to die. Pokey de pokey de poke. Um, I can't remember if I came down here earlier in my Let's Play. I don't think so. Pretty sure I didn't. Like, there, I can think of nothing I would have picked up, but there's always a possibility, so. We'll see if this chest is... Okay, I didn't. I guess I didn't. Alright. Anyways, this is how you get out of this place, assuming you didn't start with the Master Key. If you didn't start with the Master Key, then you couldn't have gone the short way anyways. But, Master Key is the most OP, so. Or at least that's my phrase. That's what I say about the Master Key. He's got to roll past that guy, not a big deal. He's got to roll past this guy, also not a big deal. And this guy's a chump, so who gives a crap about him? He's got to continue running, and eventually they'll run off a cliff. Actually, like, legit, you can be perfectly safe once you get out here, because they'll just try and follow you across this bridge and fall off and die. I kind of want to see what they look like outside of Blight Town. Oh! They're not green. That's weird. Huh. They actually have light skin, just Blight Town makes them look green. Interesting. <sighs> the new Londo ruins. Do do do.
Let's actually put on the Wanderer's Manchette over my legs. But yeah, as you can see, this armor has good defense, considering it's such a low-level armor set. However, Crimson requires Twinkling Titanite to upgrade, and Gold Hemmed can't be upgraded. So, what you see is what you get, and oh my god, what happened? I swear to god, I will avenge ye. You shall not go forgotten. They killed Anastasia. I wonder who did this. But it was Lodre. Lodre, son of a god. You're a queen as soon as I meet you. Anyways, I actually really like the dingy shirt. With the, um... Gold hem skirt. Oh no, wait. It wasn't gold hem skirt. It was a... It's Brigand trousers, right? No. What was it? Might have actually been Wanderer boots. Whatever. So... This isn't actually better, but it looks cooler, so this is what we're going to be using. And our bonfire. It is dead. Hmm. That sucks. Whatever. That's fine. Our clerics are still here, so that's something that remains unchanged. Let's just go visit Andre and tell him about what, about what we've experienced here. <sighs> what a shame. Okay, so back in the Undead Parish, we just gotta go run past everything and visit Andre. Although we're probably gonna stab this stuff just for good measure. Just anally thrusted! Yes! And you have been forward thrusted. You have been charging thrusted. Yes! This makes me happy! Blood! Blood! No, I don't know. Anyways, so I've decided for this playing through our main shield is gonna be the Grass Christ shield, because it is a 95% physical blocking shield. And it can be used, like, friggin' defensively. So, I, I, it restores stamina. What else do you need? Nothing. Ever. We're good. Forever. We're done. We're done. We win. Anyways, so, for now, we have a whole bunch of stuff to purchase. We're gonna need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're gonna need, like, 27 Titanite shards. Crazy as that sounds. I know. But it is true. Yeah, so. Yeah, so I'll give you the large one. So now I'm gonna purchase item, we're gonna purchase. 27. So we're gonna go ahead and plus 5 our grass grass shield. Okay. Reinforce armor. But yeah, like I said, the armor I'm wearing now is going to serve us for a long time. So I'm probably just going to bring everything I'm wearing to plus three. So there we go. Now we have everything I'm wearing to plus three, and we should have... Uh, we need six more. Okay. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to fight a boss. Another boss. Three bosses in one episode. It's a trilogy. Boss trilogy. I don't know. Would that be bology? That might be bology. Biology. Biology! I like biology. Hello, plant man. Stab. 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 I had a triple thrust plant man. He enjoyed it. Plant man. Stabity, stabity, stabity. Ah. What are you doing? Pokety. 
Pokety. Pokety. Humility. Oh, he dropped his thing. Give me a thing, yeah. Yay, thing. <laughs> you know how I said you should avoid being hollow in this, I mean, uh, human in this place? Well, there's one exception you can make for that. Just one, one exception, and I'll show you what that exception is. Not going in there, silly Mises. What do you think you're doing? I don't know. I don't ever know what I'm doing. So, bring in. Yeah. Anyways, as I believe I've already showed you on this character, this is where the partisan is. I didn't pick it up. There you go. So. Just avoid those guys. Then avoid this plant guy here. I mean, this snake guy probably jumped off the tree at us. There we go. That was a flawless plan, I'm sure. This guy dropped a thing. Yay. It's not going to go back around here. And it's nigh on impossible to avoid aggro. It, it actually is completely impossible to avoid aggroing one of the golems. Like This guy auto aggroes as soon as you walk in this place. So it's like you have to fight one. But they're not so bad if you just do Andrew weapon. See, he's almost dead. And we just got our run in here. Stone Golem's twop is annoying. Okay. Anyways, touch summoning sign and summon the Witch Beatrice. I love the Witch Beatrice. She's awesome. Thrust. Thrust. Yeah. Which Beatrice summon? Yeah. Which Beatrice summon? Yeah. Look, this guy's ragdoll. Woo! 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 Hey, come on, buddy. We're going upstairs. Come on. Come on. Woo! Anyways. Sorry about that. <laughs> What's the magic res on this? Crap. Okay. That's good. What are the stats on this? Uh, pretty much just crap, but there you go. So this is the Moonlight Butterfly. And our goal is kill the Moonlight Butterfly. So that's what we're going to do. Let's throw a sorcery at her. Throw another sorcery at her. Throw another one at her. When you start throwing sorceries, it encourages Beatrice to start throwing sorceries. So, Beatrice is the one who kills the boss, honestly. Your goal is distract Moonlight Butterfly and throw Pyromancy. She, she even attacked it once more. Beatrice, you're so awesome. She doesn't know why I'm stabbing her, though. I just wanted to thrust Witch Beatrice. Is that so wrong? Is that so wrong? Actually, kind of. That's besides the point. Anyways. Okay, so now we get the Watchtower Basement Key and the Divine Ember and a Homeward Bone. Wee. And now we're going to... Homeward Bone. Boneward Home! And this is a long episode. I said last episode was going to be long. I lied. This episode is the longest episode ever. Longest friggin' episode ever. Dear God. That's okay. That's okay. Trust. Just going to thrust, thrust. And just going to thrust, e thrust, e thrust. Got a purple moss clump. This may as well be a freaking stream with all the crap I'm doing. Ah! Ah! What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Oh my god!
Well then, that was eventful. Frigging, like, okay. I don't give a frack. Oh, I'm probably gonna die and lose my souls and cry, because that's a lot of souls that I actually kind of need. So, uh... Wait. Message. Here. What is here? I didn't even notice that before. Actually. Nope. 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 So much nope. Uber nope. Penis thrust nope. Mm. Thrusty. That was weird. I'm sorry. Love me. Be wary of monster. Thrust. I missed. Thrust. Yes. Did perish. Be wary of close range battle. I did it. I did it. I'm guessing they did it. Weakness lightning. Yeah, give divine ember Andre. I'm gonna modify equipment and divine our wing sphere. And now, the only reason I even wanted to get the um, green titanite was to bring a divine sphere to plus a bunch. Plus five. See, so I used all ten of our. Green Titanite, but we're never going to use that. <sighs> thought we were, but it turns out we have no intention of it. Anyways, this actually ends up doing more damage than it did before, believe it or not. So that's good. And we're just going to unequip these. Rest of this bonfire. And call it a, a long as crap episode. Oh my god, I'm sorry for that, guys. <sighs> this has been Mies Likes Games. You're welcoming you back to another episode of the last episode of previously of Dark Souls. Prepare to die. Just see ya!